Let's talk about men and bears. I've been recently watching videos that are men presenting a hypothetical question to women. That is, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear? And it's the most ridiculous thing ever because like 99.9% .9 of women pick the bear. And from personal experience, if you place a woman in the woods with a bear and then show up as a man, they run to you. you know, even if the bear is just imaginary in their fucking mind. It, it's the mo this is the most ridiculous hypothetical question I've ever fucking seen. Like, basically every woman I know, if they were in the woods and thought that there was a bear around... And they see a man walking down the trail with a rifle and a hunting knife looking like, you know, I don't know, some serial killer or some shit. They would run towards the man and hope that he would help them. So this is like, you're presenting a question to women and they're giving you their irrational answer here in the modern day where they have their computer and their coffee and whatever. And all that shit completely goes out the window if they're actually around a fucking bear. Why is this? Because bears are fucking terrifying. You know? Uh, the, the way I would rephrase this question is, you are lost out in the middle of the backcountry on some trail, and there's a thing coming down the trail. Would you rather it be a grizzly bear or a man with a rifle? And my logic on this is every man I know that spends any amount of time, any amount of distance into the backcountry, doesn't go there without a gun. Maybe there's some percentage of them that bring a handgun instead of a rifle, but 99.9% .9 of men, when they go out in the woods and they are in a place where it is legal to do so, have a fucking gun. Why do they have a fucking gun? Because of fucking bears. <laughs> Like, so you're literally saying that you would pick being eaten alive versus maybe having to spend a few days walking out of the woods with some man that you don't know. Like, what percentage of men, men with guns and knives walking around in the woods, what percentage of those men do you think would actually fucking sexually assault or kill you? as a woman because again knowing the sorts of people that hang around out in the backwoods I'm not going to say it's a zero but it's a very small percentage like even if it's a mountain man that lives in a fucking unibomber shack out in the middle of nowhere and hasn't seen a woman for two years he's more likely to try to help you in any way that he can and try to get on your good side so maybe you fucking throw some of that pussy at him than he is to try to sexually assault you. Is there like the 0.1% of the 0.1% that would be like, oh hell yeah, I got me a wife now and take you off to the Unabomber cabin? Maybe, but like, I think that's a ridiculously small percentage of fucking men. Most of the Unabomber cabin in the woods type guys would probably just think it's cool to have a girl to talk to for three days. You know? And their goal wouldn't be, you know, to, to sexually assault or rape you or whatever. It would be, I'm going to be as nice as possible to this woman because I want to convince her to live with me full time here because I'm fucking alone in the woods and she has a vagina. And like this fundamental misunderstanding of like women and men comes down to we have a fucking culture of like cowardly feminist cunts that view men as some sort of predatory animal that lives to fuck them and, like, this just isn't true. Do men like sex? Yes. I would say there's even a percentage of men that like non-consensual sex. That's true. But 
the vast, vast majority of men would much, much prefer consensual sex. And if they have any sort of shot at that, they're not just going to fucking rape you. It's ridiculous. And to be honest, for the last 250,000 plus years that we've been around as a species, women loved to find the man in the woods who only wanted sex in exchange for helping them survive. Like, that was that's how our species perpetuated for a long ass fucking time. I don't know, maybe I'm just fucking crazy. But, like, in the Stone Age, women would obviously prefer the man that would try to kill the bear. I would say that in the situation where, you know, you're in the woods and you think you're being hunted by a bear and you come across a man with a rifle who is hunting or some shit... Chances are good he's going to try to kill that bear. For you. And you know, maybe you could be grateful and fucking suck his dick or some shit. That's all we're saying. Would that be a necessary thing? No, but it would be fucking appreciated. Like, come on, I just killed a fucking bear for you. Women are ridiculous. Like, this is some irrational, illogical shit that is just being bred into our women, and it's a fucking issue. This is feminism at its finest, and the question I would pose to men is, would you rather be stuck in the middle of the woods with a feminist or a bear? Come on, men. Give me your answers in the comments. We all know you'd pick the fucking bear. Why? Because you have a rifle. And you could kill the bear if it gets fucking, you know, down to that. But chances are good that you and the bear could fucking just chill. Of the numbers of times I've encountered bears in the woods, I've had to shoot zero of them. I think I've fired a gun, like, into the ground to scare a bear off twice in my life. But I've never shot the fucking bear, mainly because I don't really want to shoot the bear. I like the bear scared of the bear as you should be like go watch the movie the edge and watch the dude get fucking eaten alive by the bear and be like yeah i'm not scared of no bears you're an idiot and this is where anyone with any sense of logic or ration at all would or reason at all ration i was thinking irrational and thinking reason at the same time and ended up at ration Anyone with any reason at all would be like, yeah, the chances that a fucking grizzly bear is going to kill and eat me if I'm within, you know, 20 feet of it, probably pretty good, right? And your chances of being, you know, taken to the Unabomber cabin and made a wife by the fucking mountain man, probably slim. Does he take you to, your, to his cabin? Probably, until he knows how to get you out of there. But, you know, he'd probably cook your fucking dinner. You know, let you sleep in his bed. Like, most men are pretty fucking honorable. And they would want to help you out. And that's from knowing a shitload of men in my life. Especially a shitload of men who spend time in the woods alone. You know, is there the one in ten million that is Jeffrey Dahmer... And it's just going to, like, you know, rape you and slowly cut you apart for fun? Maybe. But, like, what are the odds of actually encountering that person? And this is where the women would say, yeah, but the the results of that 0.1% of the 0.1% are so bad that I would never risk it versus the 50-50 shot of the bear. That's just some fucking crazy logic to me. You know? To me, every one of them that picks the bear is just discounting the fact that they're going to die a slow, horrible death begging for a man to come and save them. When they could have just picked the man in the first place. 
What does it say about our society that our women are like this? I don't think this is a statement so much about men as it is about women. Like, do we have a culture of men that, you know, abuse women? Maybe? I would give that a maybe. And like, again, it depends on what we define as abuse or assault or whatever, because we're to a point now where getting drunk at a frat party and making out with a dude could be considered getting raped. Well, I woke up the next morning and decided that I never consented, so that was rape. Oh, and he never even fucked me. We just made out, but still rape. Sexual assault, whatever. We're, just, we're doomed as a society. Our women are fucking weak cowards. And they are so hostile towards men that it's created a multi-generation pool of men that do not approach women anymore. Like, myself and all of my male friends that I've ever known are very unlikely just to go up to a random woman and be like, hey, you're cute, you want to go out? Why? Well, because we've done that before, and, you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Like, how many times can you get told, ew, no, go away, before you're like, well, fuck it, I'll just, you know, put some pictures on the internet and hope that Tinder works out. This is where women have made it very clear they don't want to be approached in everyday life to be, you know, not even hit on, just asked out on a fucking date. You know, you're not walking up to a woman and being like, you know, you'd look good naked on my bed. You're literally going up and being like, hey, you're cute. Would you want to go out to dinner? And you're getting, you know, constant fucking no's. Even if they were into you, because they have this internal mindset of, I'm not in the space for that right now. I don't want to be hit on by men right now. I'm just shopping at fucking, you know, wherever it is. I don't, I don't want to deal with this. So you have to approach them at a place that they think is appropriate to fucking approach them at, which is what? A bar? Or a bar? Like, so what if you're not into fucking going to bars and drinking? Like, you're, you're left with going online someplace. And this is all a result of the same fucking thing. Yeah, you know, we've created a generation of women that basically think that men should exist to be there when they want them to be there and not be there when they don't want them to be there and are completely lacking in any sort of romance or empathy or whatever. And it's one thing if the bitch just finds you unattractive, maybe you're an ugly fucking man. Okay. But I guarantee you that's not the case. You know, there are literally women that say no to every man who approaches them in public but literally would, you know, be more than happy to talk to that person on a dating app where they feel safe and, like, they're not in danger. Oh, because you're not here in real life, I can say whatever I want to say without getting bitch slapped. I think that's probably more the real fear. And maybe they should have a healthy fear of that. I don't think there's enough of that in our society. Women have a severe lack of respect for men, and it shows in this sort of shit where you don't respect a man enough to actually think that he might save you in the woods instead of fucking raping and killing you. We're doomed. And I don't honestly wonder how the percentages would change on this shit if you had a picture of, uh, what's his name? Chris Hemsworth or somebody like that dressed up as a mountain man with a rifle carrying a bouquet of flowers. And we're like, what if it's this man coming down the trail? Would you want this man? 
How many of them would be like, oh yes, he looks like he has survival skills and he's bringing me flowers and he's fucking Chris Hemsworth. Either that or what if it's, you know, a billionaire out on an elk hunt? You know, he could buy you anything you want. How many of them would be interested then? Because that's the real fucking dynamic with women. They're not fucking attracted to men physically for the most part. Like, a dick is a dick at the end of the day. Maybe they have their preferences on muscles versus flab or whatever. But all that goes out the fucking window as soon as you have $20 billion. We've created a society of greedy whores who are emotional and illogical and completely ruined by feminism. Ruined by feminism to the point where they think any man is basically out to get them. They think that they are so hot that men won't be able to control themselves around them if there's no fucking other people around or laws. If you're out in the wilderness, men get real rapey bunch of fucking horse shit. Do men like having sex in the woods? Yeah. Especially if you're some fucking like hot hippie chick who's just down to fuck in the forest. Why not? At the same time, they're not patrolling the forest looking for lonely women. <laughs> In fact, I would put it to you that the man out there with a rifle roaming around in the forest probably hopes he doesn't see a fucking woman. They're out there for man time. And, like, what percentage of men walking down the trail, you know, looking like Chris Hemsworth with his fucking rifle and his bouquet of flowers, would see you as a woman and go, yeah, fuck you, you're fucking fat and ugly, I'm gonna go the other direction. A high percentage. How many of the billionaires that you found out there on the elk hunt would literally go like, yeah, I'll help you back to civilization, but then I never want to see you again. High percentage. Why? Because they have options. Like, you're not into the guys that are into you, and you're into these fucking unobtainable things that are like unicorns. They don't exist. Or they do exist, but because of them being who and what they are, they have so many options that they probably don't want to get married in the first place. They'd rather bang a bunch of women. Like, this is the dynamic going on in our society where 99% of the women are chasing 0.1% of the men and 0.1% of the men don't want to get fucking married. You know, why would I want to give away half my shit? to have sex with the same woman for the rest of my life when I could have sex with 20 different women a night with the level of income that I have. And are there problems with men? There are some problems with those men in particular wanting to fuck 20 women a night. And there's some problems with the 0.1% of 0.1% of men that are like sexually assaulting you. But the other 98% of men, let's call it, are just good dudes that you're completely overlooking because they're not a Greek god who makes $20 billion a year. I seriously wonder how many of those women would change their answer based on the level of income of the man or if he was some hot, famous actor that they're fucking infatuated with. On some of these things I saw, there were actually honest women who were like, you know, if the man walking down the trail is like Bear Grylls or some shit, and like, I don't like Bear Grylls, but they said Bear, Bear Grylls. Let's say Les Stroud, because I like Les Stroud better. If it's Les Stroud walking down the trail, for sure I'd want it to be the man, because he's got survival skills and will get us out of there. I'm like, maybe this is part of the problem, is they don't view the average man as having fucking survival skills anymore. Again... Most of my friends are into guns and knives and camping and backpacking and hunting. Like, we have legitimate skills. We're the ones you're most likely to encounter wandering around out in the woods. 
most people are not just out there with no skill set whatsoever. And if they are, they don't last very long. So logically, you're choosing to die by being eaten by a bear rather than have a male companion who probably knows more about how to survive in the woods than you. Not to mention, guys are just kind of usually interested in this. Not like all guys. There are definitely like some metrosexual city guys that have no fucking idea how to survive in the woods. I'll give you that. But this is, the scenario is, there's two things walking down the trail. One's a man, one's a bear. What's the most likely type of man to be walking down a fucking trail? Is it your metrosexual hairdresser? Probably not. It's probably some fucking blue collar guy out fucking hunting deer or backpacking. We have a real problem in our society with male-female relationships. And I think a lot of it stems from a lack of religion and people's upbringing, maybe, mixed with a lack of exposure to the opposite sex in their upbringing. Like, our whole society segregates boys and girls just by its nature. I mean, if you look at kids in school, the girls hang out with the girls, the boys hang out with the boys, and even some classes are segregated based on sex. Generally speaking, the boys and girls have separate PE classes. You know, at the school I went to, we had separate Bible classes. And the, the main place that I ever interacted with the girls at my school was in fucking home ec. Which, if you're a younger guy and watching this and are like, how do I meet women? Go take a fucking home ec class. You'll be drowning in pussy. Literally every girl that I dated in high school was because of home ec class. Pro tip. And you'll like learn how to cook and sew and shit, which is not entirely useless. Of the stuff I learned in high school, the stuff I learned in home ec is probably some of the most valuable. And every home ec class I was ever in was like 97% female. You know? I think we as a society could do a better job instilling, you know, morals and a lack of fear of the opposite sex into both genders. So there are guys that are fucking scared of girls too because, like, they don't know how to talk to them. But it doesn't compare to the girls that are literally afraid that you're going to, like, murder them in the woods or some shit. One of the favorite, one of my favorite girls I ever took out on a date ever was during COVID. We went to like an aquarium on our first date and it went well. And on the second date, there really weren't many options, but I knew a place to go stargazing out in the middle of nowhere and was like, if you'd feel comfortable doing this, I'd love to take you there. And I was like, this is exactly where we'll be. This is how long we'll be there. This is how long of a drive it is. Be sure to, you know tell your parents or girlfriends or whoever it is that you need to feel comfortable that this is where you'll be, this is who you'll be with, and this is how long you'll be there. And <sighs> crazy bitch didn't tell anybody. Like, I dropped her back off at her house. Her uh, brother was there being like, where the fuck were you? No one knew where you were. <laughs> She's like, well, we went out stargazing. And literally I got like the, the death stare from her fucking brother. And he shook my hand and made sure to do so, like, super hard. I'm like, okay, Mr. Macho Man. I don't know. It's super weird. This is where, I don't know, I'm interesting to talk to about dating because I've dated both sexes. It's the nature of being bisexual. Like, you really get to see the, the problem that is the male-female dynamic in our fucking society. And overall, I kind of prefer to date men. You know, most of the men I dated 
would have absolutely no fear about going out into the back country for three weeks with you and having vigorous sex the entire time. Whereas most of the women I've dated would be like, yeah, no, thank you, serial killer. Like, what is up with that? Is it just the, the power dynamic in the relationship? Is it our societal values? Like, there's something making women fear sexual assault at such a high level that it's not even funny. Like, even in the Old West, where lawlessness was rampant, people just didn't go around raping women. Whorehouses were very popular. You know, women got paid to get fucked. Did a sexual assault happen every now and then? I would guess at about the same rates that it does in modern America. And that's with no law whatsoever, basically. Most men, at their core, are fundamentally good, honorable dudes. And... If you want to offer up consensual sex, they'd be more than happy to take that, but they're not going to fucking rape you for it. Most guys look at that with disdain. Most guys don't want to murder you. Like if you're a dude and you're and they're a dude and you're both out in the woods and there's a giant lump of gold or some shit and now you're fighting to the death over it, that's one thing. If you're some lost woman who's asking them for help, there's nothing sexier than that. And it's not in a rapey way. It's in a, maybe if I fucking help her out and get her out of this situation, she'll give me her phone number and we can continue to do this. Especially if you're cute. Like, that's what motivates men. It's not, you know, short-term gratification. They don't want to fuck you once out in the middle of the woods and leave you. They'd like to convince you to fuck them on repeat. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. But these videos about the man versus the bear in the woods are just like the silliest fucking thing I've ever seen. And the best one I watched was from the Whatever podcast where literally they backed these girls into a corner of okay, so you would all pick or most of you would pick the bear over the man. Well, now the scenario is you are in the woods and a bear is chasing you and you see a man, he has a rifle and he's walking down the fucking trail. Do you approach him? And every fucking one of them said yes. So literally, if you do pick the bear, you'd be praying that you found a man to save you. So why wouldn't you pick the man in the first place? And one of the chicks was literally like, well, I don't think about things rationally or with logic. I use my emotions. I'm like, well, this is the heart of the fucking issue. Why do you do that? Well, because I'm like a girl. And girls think emotionally. We're doomed. See you guys later.